G'day guys, what's cracking? To Aussie here again. So I thought today we'll head into the BP servo and see what's doing. See if they've got any new bits and bobs there. Something like a new burger or any new pies or sausage rolls and whatnot. Or maybe even a new Beveragino. So folks, I'm going to head in there. We're just winging it today and I'm going to see what I can get for lunch and see if we can get a sweet little deal. You never know. So folks... It's time to head into the BP and see what's going on. Let's see if we can find something a little bit interesting. Come with. Rightio, we're back babies, and we got the goods. What did I get, I hear you ask? Well, we got something that I forgot all about that they have there. So we got a tradey muffin. We'll give that a squeeze in a minute. We got a combo with a schnitzel and gravy roll. I know I'm gonna love to taste that. I have tried their schnitzels there before, and they're pretty decent. So I think that that's the muffin. Yeah, baby, this looks like a roll. Wow, it's quite weighty. So let's check that out. Oh, and being a combo, we got... I grabbed the Coke. There wasn't too many drinks to choose from. Lemonade, Coke, Diet Coke, Vanilla Coke, a lot of Coke. <laughs> this is the one for me I want to try out. Looking good. Oh, we even got a little napkin. We do like to see that. So this is the roll babies. It's got its own little nappy. That's a good thing. There it is. Let's have a quick squeeze inside. Schnitzel and gravy. You know what? I reckon without further ado, ah boo boos. I'm gonna have to whack this in me gob. Actually, for, first of all, let's check out the length. Decent size. You love to see it. Trying to whack it in me gob. I can't wait. I really do have a bloke size hunger today. I will take it out and give you a bit of a squeeze inside. So one first bite. It's a bit of a crunchy type of roll, but it tastes quite fresh. Here's your schnitzel. Gravy. Quite a decent amount of schnitzel in there. Now, I can't remember what this was. I think it was $9.50 on its own. With a combo, $14.50. So I don't reckon that's too bad. That pretty decent size schnitzel roll. And the chips. And a beverage, you know, $14.50. These days, I'm down with that. That's okay. No complaints. And on second bite, copping a decent amount of that gravy. So that's pretty good. I am liking this. Now, just put that down for a sec. We'll get on to the chips. We may even put some chips in the roll. Schnitzel, gravy and chip roll. Wouldn't you love to taste that? I'm get the bloody thing open. Troll proof this one. So there's your chips. You know the deal. Gotta have a chip. Ooh. Nobody asked me did I want seasoning. I don't think there's any salt on it or anything. Now these, to be fair, these guys were pretty busy in there. Even one customer was abusing them. They had full on amounts of <laughs> hot food to do i was feeling a little i was actually feeling for them a bit they were full on but you know we got the goods and that's all that matters i wasn't in any big hurry a 
The chips are pretty decent. The only problem is no salt or anything or chicken salt. So what I'll do is just spice them up a bit. Or some of them at least. And chuck some of them in a roll. That way they'll at least get that gravy taste. There you go. There's your roll with your chips. Oh, and they're falling out. I probably went a bit overboard there. Let's give that a crack. Now, I'm not going to lie, the schnitzel and gravy roll is pretty average tasting, but with that being said, it ain't disgusting either. It's pretty good. It's average, you know, but the roll's good, nice and fresh. That really does feel really heavy. There's a decent amount, and if you've got a decent amount and it tastes okay, well, then you pretty much are on a winner anyway, aren't you? So I'm going to go in for one more, and then we'll discover what's in this bag. Well, we already know that tradey muffin i'm chomping at the bit to try that one now i had a little squeeze in the bag when it was up on the hot counter waiting for me to pick it up and it did look like it was a bit of a hot mess it could have gone all over the place we may have to reconstruct this one, but let's find out. Yep, I thought so. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, let's give it a crack. There it is. Now, they did ask me if I wanted sauce. Actually, you know what? Before we get into it, let's check it out. See how it looks and how it compares to Macca's or HJ's. Although HJ's have that on Turkish now, don't they? So, well, that's just all over the place. Here's your egg. Let's see if we can just reassemble this a bit more. Cheese. You got your patty. It's one of those times I have to pull it apart anyway. Now, even though it's a hot mess and it's all over me tips, the bacon does look cooked. Or crispy, as you some of you folks seem to like. They don't you don't like that microwave stuff or half cooked bacon. It was enough to break your bloody teeth, though. That's a bit overdone. On the edges. I think we'll start with this side, because it looks like we can get a bit of everything from that one. Let's do it. Very chewy that one, not one of the best things I've ever tried, especially for breakfast items. And as you probably saw in the footage, it's sitting in the cold counter waiting for someone to nuke it. It's a bit trashy. So it's not the best, I'd rather, actually would rather a Macca's burger, a Macca's muffin would beat that hands down. But you know what, I haven't told you the price yet. Now on, it's on par with the price, it's probably a bit better this one. Especially because it's got bacon and a sausage, better price. Tell them the price, son. Six fifty for that guy, and like I did mention, I think the combo, fourteen fifty with the drink. So, guys, if you're in a BP servo and you see these things, I'd probably steer clear of them. I will eat it. It's not unbearable to eat, but I probably wouldn't do that again. Chips are usually pretty good, and these ones aren't too bad either. Just no seasoning. But like I said, they were pretty busy and um, I'm not going to hold it against them that they forgot to put salt on that. And you know what? The fella in there did say to me, did I want sauce? And I said no because usually when you get Macca's type things, I wanted to compare it to a Macca's type thing. Um, you usually don't get sauce on it unless you ask for it. So... I also knew, in case I got a pie, I bought some dead horse along with me, so let's see if this improves it. Because as I say sometimes, 
it's mad, a source fixes everything, doesn't it? And because I was winging it and I wasn't sure what I was going to get, I thought I'd bring, a lot, bring along some sauce in case we got a pie. Let's try that now. And I'm not going to lie, that has definitely given my jaw a workout. Let's see if we can do a little Dunkaroonie on that cheese. Now one good thing, it's got a runny egg, so I guess you don't get that at Mecca's and HJ's, and I do love runny eggs. It's a bit of... Bit of yolk running along there. So guys, twenty-one dollars all up. No, I still don't think that's too bad. The combo was a pretty decent combo. This, the more I eat it, the better it's getting, and whack a bit of sauce on. It's a lot better. Loving that egg on it. That's the best thing about it. So this thing wasn't too bad, pretty decent. They're all it's all pretty average. Can't expect too much from a servo, I guess. Guys, I'm gonna rate it on taste. That three and a half will give that th three stars out of five. Chips ain't bad. Probably a four. Would rate a lot higher with a bit of seasoning. So value, all up $21. I don't think we've done too bad considering, and that is pretty weighty even without the chips, all up. I'm going to give it a three and three quarter stars out of five for value. The whole kit and caboodle all up together. So folks, I'm going to love yous and leave yous. I don't know if I'll eat the rest, the whole lot of this right now. I may heat it up and have it a bit later on. Anyway, that's your BP random stuff we got today. Thought we'd check it out. I don't think they had these last time I went there. And they were just starting these. So I am glad I tried it. Like I said, it's half decent. So guys... I'm out of here. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And remember, you can never be too Aussie. Hooroo. And stay fresh. We're not going to do the beverage you know today. We'll give that a miss. I'll save it for Ron. Sayonara.